John Reed, jdud.com, the day after the Mobility Database event. Thanks, John. Good to be here. With Sanjay Poonin of SAP. And we're going to talk about developer engagement in SAP yep. because that was something that came out yesterday, but not to the extent that I wanted to discuss. So we're going to hit it now. Hard to do it in three to four minutes, but we'll give it, it a little hard. few minutes now. Yeah. Yep. So what do you say to the jaded SAP developer who cares passionately about SAP, wants to build apps, wants to sell apps, and they've heard this stuff before that changes are coming. What do you say to get them on board with the changes that are happening? Listen, I think we, we definitely feel the pain. I started my career at Microsoft, and the thing that Microsoft got well was the Microsoft Developer Network. You think about Visual Basic in the, you know, in the 80s, 90s, and so on and so forth. And it was very clear to me, certainly at, at Sapphire when we talked in Sapphire, Madrid, and so on, that if we were going to get mobile right, if anything, this was the place where the developers were going to be more important than, you know, not to say the HANA and the other place developers weren't, but this was the place where you're going to have millions of developers. and some of the other places, you may have hundreds and thousands. So we had to get this right. And I would say that the first element of what we wanted to make sure was, was visible and articulated yesterday was that we were going to open up the SDK of our mobile platform so that you could leverage the, pla we picked three, PhoneGap, Sensor, Accelerator, um, many of them, a couple of them are open source in a way that would allow you to extend what we have and tie that developer ecosystem of ours. There is a lot more we've got to get right. Um, from the licensing to the place on the website they come here to quickly, easy use, a try and buy. And that, you know, Vishal joked about it as sort of like 19th century thinking. We absolutely are committed to resolving. I've got a team internally um, and we're not going to rest until the group, you call them jaded, but hopefully they're gonna help us right. solve this, until that group is happy, right. okay? And it means that everything from the licensing to the experience, to so on, and we think that this effort that we are doing with those three companies help us, it's not the end of the journey, but it's right. a significant step forward in helping us open up the mobile um, web community to a community we would never have touched before on our own, and forces, I think, that uh, open ecosystem faster into our DNA. Sometimes I have felt like SAP has been really good at what I call jam culture, like there's another InnoJam event tomorrow that was pretty interesting, online HANA. So giving folks tool exposure, great, but moving to app store culture, yeah. finished apps, yes. like how does that happen? It has to happen by us, first off, understanding that as you open up these apps, there's going to be a set of apps that we build and there's going to be probably 70 to 80% of them. I'm talking about mobile now. Yeah. Uh, if you could extend that to other places. There are mobile apps that are going to be built by you know, enterprises. And if you're going to build a culture that's eventually like the Apple Consumer App Store, you have to make that experience for that mobile uh, system integrator or a random developer so easy. And we're not yet there. And, and the more that we drive consumer-driven influences into that group, so I think what's happening is we're starting to work with these companies like you know, Century Accelerator and also uh, PhoneGap as an example, um, is we're starting to find uh, and working with partners exactly where those limitations are. And the key thing that we need to now do is ensure that the experience now for anybody working with these development tools and us is so frictionless. Okay? And once we've driven that, fundamentally I think that mobile could be one of the places where we're then able to, to permeate that DNA into other groups uh, inside SAP too. Because if you solve it for mobile for a million developers, we'll get it right for hundreds and thousands. Yeah, I saw the one million developer line. You guys serious, really, one, one million developers? I mean, here's the deal, right? I mean, I'm not, and we're not trying to sort of, you know, kind of blow smoke of anybody's backside in this thing. Here's the way in which you kind of come to that. For one, we've got two million developers in our sure. um, developer network today. These guys, if you add them up, between Centra, Seller, right. and PhoneGap, I've gotten hundreds of thousands, in a couple of cases, million developers. Right. We want that community to mingle with ours, and if, even if a subset of them start using the mobile platform, and let's say even some of them don't use the mobile platform but go right to Gateway, they are now building apps for enterprise use cases. Right. And the more that that mobile communicate, communicate, community can intersect with our mobile platform, we get the benefit of a potential fraction of that, that million developers. I think it also challenges us you know, they have this description, big, hairy, audacious goals. If you don't make the goal a million developers, you won't design for that frictionless um, um, developer community that, you know, you have to deal with in high volume. You're still going to think like you have a human-mediated way of being able to handle that. Yeah. You know, the, the, the neat thing, I met with Essentia CEO, and you got the sense of 
that it was going to be easy for developers to develop on this HTML5 compliant platform without having to worry as much about SAP backend stuff. Yeah. This is an encouraging sign. No, and I'll tell yeah. you, if you talk to them, Michael's a great guy. Jeff Haney at Upseller is good. You talk to the phone gaps. We know these companies out very well. They're all in Silicon Valley. They, it's, they move at a different pace. You know, um, the development component here is written by some small development team in Bangladesh combined with another development effort here. The open source movement is like a different movement, right? And um, the way in which we um, you know, look at this is to embrace that movement as opposed to fight it. And many of the proprietary mobile platforms from some of our competitors have sought to build many of those things on their own. Right. In opening them up, we're actually starting to learn a lot from these companies. And I think that's one of the benefits you get from mingling a lot of their learning into our developer community. I think the hard part is the developers that will need access to NetWeaver systems via license. Because it's a licensing part that's been such a headache. And sometimes this made me wonder, like, uh, do, do the, does SAP work for their legal team or do the legal team work <laughs> yeah. for SAP? No, sure. uh, no, we tend to be sometimes conservative and there's some reasons why we need to be that way. But part, we've got a number of thinkings around how we saw. One is, hey, just let's simplify the licensing so it's, you know, whatever, it's just easier. But I think we can also do things in the cloud which are a lot more try and buy. Uh, we've been experimenting with sort of try and buy in the Amazon cloud or places where you don't have to be worried about, you know, they've got to download something and as a result they've got to have a heavy duty licensing so there are ways in which they can do that in the cloud environment. You ease some of that that you couldn't do 15 years because the cloud didn't exist. So um, we are, and we are not, John. I mean, you have my word. We're not going to rest until we solve this. Okay. I think the message was heard, which was first. I mean, open up to developers. Okay, we've done that, but it's not completely there. I think you saw that happen with the mobile announcements. I mean, we felt that was very important. But the next thing is now. Okay, that's good. But make sure friction. What you're saying is make it frictionless for us from licensing to the way we engage with you to the app store to the downloads, everything. And we're right. going to get there. So Sapphire is not really a developer showcase event. So we're not necessarily looking to get this all resolved for Sapphire, but I know there's going to be a lot of cloud talk at Sapphire. So maybe this message gets tied in a little bit to cloud in terms of developing. Yeah, I think there's certainly going to be an area where, you know, what we're doing in the cloud will have a extensibility and development aspect with it. Certainly there's also TechEd that's coming up a few months later, which is all developers and okay. TechEd. We're going to have a lot more to do it. But I think your message is hurt, and I really appreciate you and the other folks have been vocal. Because you're not doing this with malice. You're just telling us, hey, get this right. And to us, the, the um, aspect of getting this right will be that audience that wants us to kind of perfect some of these things, telling us, hey, now you got it right. Well, we see it as the biggest win-win in SAP's evolution potentially yeah. around developers who really want to make money and be successful. Yeah. And and that SAP needs this for yeah, competitive yeah. reasons as well. So and I tell you, that's it's why also, we're kind of beating no, down the walls. And I'll tell you, I mean, I just came back from Asia a couple of weeks ago. The new community developers that are joining the, the, the ranks of the IT force in their 20s. I mean, I was in Korea, and the computer science grads that are all coming out of, of them, and there are a few other countries like Finland, are all now mobility trained computer scientists. Right. Because they're seen like angry birds, a little small company here and yeah. the other place, right? These guys want to deal with a very different enterprise software company than perhaps the company 40 years ago that built ERP, right? So I think if we can solve this again well for mobility and some of these high velocity, fast moving parts of the world, we will get things right for other parts of our portfolio too. All right, well, folks, hope you enjoyed this discussion. We had to make do with a couch in an open space, but uh, hopefully the audio is good enough and, and you got a good sense of what SAP is really doing with developers. See you at Sapphire. Thanks, John. Thanks. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Take care.